see you there. How the heck are you guys doing? My name is Robbie, and this is my craft corner. This is where I try some of the most viral life hacks and crafts on the internet, so you don't have to. And I have a hidden teleporting slide that can take me anywhere. I'm gonna show you guys where I hide it, so don't tell anyone, okay? We won't tell nobody. Behind the TV? We have a secret door. And normally it can teleport us anywhere, but today we're just gonna go to my basement because it's just... Anyway, go, let's go to my basement. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. So this is my basement. It's where I keep my ladder. <laughs> but fun fact, guys, if you go through this wall right here, there's a secret entrance to my kitchen. Whoa! So today, we're gonna be trying some of the most viral TikTok life hacks and crafts that I could find on the internet. So buckle up, get yourself some popcorn because it's gonna be a good one. Let's go check out the first hack. So here's a fun craft that you can do with some fake turf. Just go to your local hardware store, pick up a patch, and then cut it to the size of your floor mats. Add your cup holders while you're at it to your back seats, your front seats. This is definitely a mood, I guess. If it's on the internet, it looks like I have to do it. Oh yes, yeah, so I'm just gonna need these guys. Guys. A boo -boo -boo. Oh, oh, wait, I need to grab myself some grass. Oh. I'm gonna go ahead and roll this out. Smackaroon these down. Go ahead and make our outline. Oh. Not bad. Now let's cut these bad boys out. Oh, there we go. One down. I think I gotta fluff them up a little bit because they're very flat. I'm just gonna. Oh, God. Fluff it up. Real good, real good. What if I rub them against each other? You know, it didn't work super great. I think I'm just gonna have better luck doing this. Let's go put these bad boys in my truck. Okay, let's see if they fit. That's definitely a vibe, I guess. Put on the passenger side one. Yeah, custom floor mats. And we even got the matching cup holders. That is absolutely fantastic. Well guys, for 45 bucks you get custom grass floor mats and cup holders. Guys, I'm gonna have to say that this one absolutely works. What a vibe. Here's how to make a DIY smart house. All you're gonna need is a charging block and a wireless mouse. Plug that bad boy in and boom, everything is now smart homed. Your TV, your garage door, smart homeified. Oh man, I would have saved so much money on light bulbs if I knew this. Okay, so we just take the receiver from this guy and we put the lime in the coconut. That looks pretty good. Now, just plug this into my house. Oh yes, just like that. Take our mouse. Now, theoretically, it's not working! Maybe if I try putting it in this projector. Oh, there we go. Let's see, does that do anything? Yeah, it's not working. Okay, here we go. Maybe this outlet will work. What the heck? It's not working! Why is it not working? Why is the light flickering? Intern, is that you? No, dude, I'm holding the camera. Wait, if I'm not flickering the lights, and you're not flickering the lights, then who's flickering the lights? <laughs> no, it's for Rock 2. Do you have a nice, ice-cold, refreshing Coca-Cola, but you couldn't finish the entire thing? Cut off the top of the bottle, and then use a heat gun to shrink wrap it around your Coke can. Boom! You have yourself a sealed soda can now. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna need is a nice, cold Bev. We got ourselves some flaming Hot Cheetos. Mountain Dew? Have you guys ever tried this before? Let me know down in the comments down below. Ooh. It's okay. It tastes like they got Cheeto dust and they just sprinkled it in Mountain Dew. It's kind of weird. Anyway, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to drink all this right now, so let's try this little life hack. We just grab a bottle, cut this bad boy off, snip, snip, and then just shove it right on there. This is a little iffy already. I don't know how I feel about this. I'm gonna try cutting it down ever so slightly. Then we go ahead and get our heat gun and just heat this bad boy up. I hope this doesn't ruin my soda. How we doing? This is looking good. Okay. She's melting. It's perfectly sealing my soda. Look at that. It's like shrink wrapped to my soda can. And now we have 
have ourselves a brand new cool hit bottle. But will it leak? We're about to find out. You ready? Oh, not bad. It's a little leaky. It's a little bit. All things considered, I mean. Oh. <sighs> <coughs> oh my god! <coughs> I spilled it! It smells like a hot Cheeto. It's making me cough. Maybe just heat it up a little bit more. <sighs> guys, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to save this craft. <gasps> oh, it's still a little leaky. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one only kind of works. <laughs> Down in the comments down below, tell me what your favorite soda is. Oh yes, I'm finally gonna live the childhood dream to make a slide down my stairs. Out of cardboard nonetheless. I am so stoked for this one. If people on TikTok could do it without getting hurt, I'm sure I could do it, right? I'm an adult, I can do what I want. Look it, look how fun that is. I'm really doing it. I'm building a slide in my house. I mean, I guess I've already had a slide in my house before in uh, my escape room. If you guys wanna see that video, you can click over here. But stay on this video for now, uh, watch that one later. Okay guys, it's time for me to live out my childhood dream and build myself a stair slide. We got our cardboard, we got our tape, and now I just need some help to make this dream come alive. Oh boys! Hello? Yeah! Uh, can you guys help me construct a cardboard slide down these stairs? Yeah, one second, we're waiting on Trevor. We even got Benj! Hey Benj, you Benj here to help! Hey. Let's make a cardboard slide! The first step to building the slide is just taping all the boxes together, I guess. I think we're gonna have the most luck if we intertwine them like this. Oh, yes. See that? They're intertwined now. Look at that. They're together. No tape even. Just rattle it around. We're we don't even need tape. I think we should still use tape. Yeah. Okay, you guys are gonna be the rotating team. You got it? So. Uh, lift up, and we're gonna rotate and spin. I can't wait to do this when we're 10 boxes in. This is looking pretty good. Hey, what do you think, Trev? I think it's all right. Okay, one down, uh, 10 more to go. This is how it's turning out so far. Interns working on the inside flaps. The flappy boy. Oh, uh, what are you doing, Trevor? Working on the outside flaps. <laughs> So we managed to get it all the way to the bottom of the stairs. Now we're just gonna add some padding. That's absolutely perfect. Now we're just securing it to the wall and then it's time to ride down the slide. Okay guys, let's do this. I'm now approaching the stairs. Oh God. Are you ready for me? Ready. I'm coming down. I'm ready to go. Benj, you get everything if I die. I'll see you guys later. I'm alive! Oh, but the slide uh, kind of broke a little bit. But overall, I'm gonna have to say that this one works. Do one of you boys want to try it next? Yeah, I'll try it. Okay. I'm done. Just gonna repair the slide, and then it's the intern's turn. Okay, Mikey, it's all up to you. It's all up to me. Let's go. Okay, it's Mikey's turn. This one just went straight. I think I broke my spleen. Oh, oh, oh man. Ben, just making sure you're okay. Thanks, Ben. Emotional support dog. Thank you, Ben. My spleen will be better. Okay, hidden camera guy, you're up. I'll do my best to put this back together really quick. Are you excited to hit yes. the camera guy? Yeah. <laughs> we ran out of tape, so I don't know how well this is gonna work. It's all good, guys. Come on down. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully I don't, I don't hurt. Okay, Ben, you wanna go too? Oh God! <laughs> Is he okay, Bench? How was it? The GoPro hurt my face more than anything. That's what I'm saying. It hurts. It just bounces down. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't really. It was fun. It was, you know, it was like a little free massage on the way down. I was like, blah, blah, blah. I think this should be a permanent fixture in my house. Robbie, you should do this with actual slides. Oh. Guys, if this video gets 10,000 thumbs up, I'm gonna put a real slide in my house. Do it for the bench. He needs a slide. You guys wanna see some crazy witchcraft? Stick a toothpick into a watermelon and flick it. What? There's no way this could work. There's no way. Okay guys, first things first, we're gonna need a watermelon. Then we're gonna need some toothpicks. Oh shoot, oh my gosh. We're only gonna need one really. Um, so we're gonna take this and we put it into the belly button right here, right? I feel like I have to look for a sweet spot, but you know, if it works, it works. Okay, so I put it in there and I just flick it. Ow, ow! Maybe I can just smack it with my phone. I'll do another sweet spot. Mm -hmm. 
Guys, I don't think this is actually gonna work. Ow, I just flicked a toothpick. Maybe this hammer will work? Oh, oh. Guys, I think I'm finding the sweet spot. Oh. Cracked? No, not quite. I also missed the belly button. Maybe I have to hit it on the belly button. Just tap it, tap it, tap it, tap it. Ooh! Oh, I got everywhere. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Trevor. I got. I just hit the kitten camera guy. Guys, look! There's a crack right here. I think I got it from here. Open up! <laughs> I think it worked. The trick was you didn't have to use your finger to flick it, you needed a hammer. But overall guys, I'm gonna have to say that the toothpick method didn't work, hammer method absolutely works. Come on everyone, let's enjoy some refreshing watermelon. Fatality. Delicious. On to the next one. Did you know that you can basically throw your old sensor bar away? Because two candles do the exact same thing. The sensor bar only works because it releases infrared light, which your Wiimote picks up. And then you can use it as a sensor bar. What? Okay, let's see if this one actually works. Okay guys, I got my Wii up on my projector. I got my Wiimote. Go ahead and light these candles. Okay, so here's my Wiimote. It's time to see. Maybe I have to move the candles a little closer. It would make sense. Here we go. It's not working. I'm gonna try plugging in the actual sensor bar. It's kind of funky because my Wii's back here. I was actually really hoping I could just light some candles and play Wii. This would have solved my problems, honestly. But now I gotta play like this. Okay, so the sensor bar is working. I just have to face the wrong way as I do it. Honestly, this is pretty cool. Should I start a gaming channel like this? I don't even need to edit it. No camera and camera. Uh, I just, you know, sit here and you guys, I should have another monitor here. It would be great. But it's not looking like these candles are actually doing it. Do you think it's because it's a projector? No, Robbie, I think you have to put the candles back there next to the Wii. What? Because... It's not even working right here. You have to put the candles where you put the sensor. So I'm gonna like, put it right here, next to the Wii, as you said. But I don't think that, that's not how it works. Oh! You're right, it's kind of working. <gasps> Wait! I think I figured it out. You have to put the Wii. The sen they're too far apart to be a sensor bar. Sensor bars aren't five feet apart. I think I just, ah, I got hot wax on me. I think I just figured it out. We're gonna grab the sensor bar. We're put, gonna put it the same distance away. It's not working. Robbie, you need to put the Wii next to the candles in front of you. What? Oh, sh yeah? I have to do what? Sorry? I didn't hear I you. I take it back. What'd you say? I take it back. What was that, intern? I'm sorry, Robbie. Who's the Craft King, intern? You're the Craft King. I'm sorry. I still have questioned you. <laughs> well, guys, I'm going to have to say that this one actually uh, works. Don't question the hey, Craft King. Be my homebrew channel. Hey, you poor thing. You poor, poor thing. Can you not pour out of a mason jar? So here's what you're gonna need. An empty milk carton, some scissors, and mason jar lids. Open the milk carton, rinse out all the milk. We don't want some gross milk in that. Mmm, gross. And then we take the top, cut it out to the shape of the lid, and then you just screw it right onto the mason jar. Wow, look at that. A perfect pour every time. Okay guys, so the first thing we're gonna need is some milk. Well, in particular, I just need this thing. So I guess all the milk is going in here. This is perfectly good milk. I don't want to waste it. Putting it in a picture. Wait, I have an even better idea. What if I take a picture of the milk? Oh, yes. Beautiful. Well, I don't need this anymore. I got my picture. So all we got to do is grab our jar and just, you know, make sure it fits. Just go ahead and draw the outline. I think I'm going to cut this apart a little bit first. Oh, there's still milk in there! I messed up. Oh yes, just dissect this a little bit. And then we grab the top, go ahead and draw an outline. Go ahead and cut this bad boy out. Okay guys, are you ready for the moment of truth? Go ahead and put it inside of our top. I actually do need this milk. This whole thing was a lie. I just need a nice tall glass of almond milk right now. I mean, this is actually really short. Um, put this bad boy on. Are you guys ready to find out to see if this works? Three, two, one! <gasps> what? 
It's not leaking! Guys, I can't believe this works! And I have a pitcher of milk! And a pitcher of milk! Well, time to have my cake and drink it too, I guess. <laughs> Almond milk is actually pretty good. Well guys, I'm gonna have to say that this life hack absolutely works. This is how I want my milk given to me from now on. Excuse me. Guys, have you heard of this Amazon return trick? Apparently, inside the bag, if you take it apart carefully, there's an adhesive strip on one side. So you can basically flip the bag inside out so there's no labels on it. Just take your adhesive strip and just stick it right back onto the bag. And you're all ready to return it. Okay guys, so this Toby actually has a defective eye. What? Yeah, look at your eye, it's all messed up. What do you mean? So I'm gonna have to actually return him. So instead of using some brand new plastic bag, I'm gonna try this hack. You're returning me? Yeah, sorry about that, Toby, just sit over here. What we're gonna have to do is flip this bad boy inside out, grab our Toby. Are you about to put me in a bag? Uh, no. Toby, calm down! Calm down! Ready! Uh. Okay, then we just take this strip. And then we flip it. Oh god, here we go. And then we flip it onto the bag. And look, it's all good! I'm gonna have to say that this one absolutely works. <laughs> On to the next hack. Oh, Mr. Robbie, let me out now. Am I the only one who knew this? So apparently you can just flick the little tab for your lighter up and it'll make it so that it'll stay lit. Is it lit or is it shit? Let's find out. Okay guys, so apparently this thing kind of comes up a little bit and then you just do this and it should stay lit. It doesn't seem to be staying lit. Guys, I think this is a cap. I think I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. Guys, do you not have a wood burner? Well, you don't need one. Just get a magnifying glass and the sun, and boom, just burn that wood yourself. Beautiful pieces of art. That's amazing, this girl did a great job. How am I gonna top this? Let's see what creative design I can come up with. Oh yeah, so the first thing I'm gonna need for this is a magnifying glass. <laughs> anyway. Sorry. Now I'm gonna need a little piece of wood. Oh yes, one of these should do nicely. Let's burn some wood. So, oh, that's already working. Look at that. I know exactly what I wanna write on here. I actually really like this. I used to do this all the time as a child. What a fun time. And this is how it turned out. What do you guys think? It's perfect wall art. I'm gonna go hang this up on my wall. Just add a little bit of wire and now it's a beautiful little piece of wall decor. Look at that, so rustic. Perfect. I'm gonna have to say this one works. So here's how you make yourself a little confetti cannon. All you're gonna need is a balloon, a paper towel roll, and some tape. Cut your balloon just like this, put it over the paper towel roll, tape all that bad boy together, maybe color it up a little bit, cut up a bunch of post-it notes so that you have confetti, and boom, a confetti cannon! How cool is that? Okay guys, first thing we're gonna need is a paper towel roll. Then we're gonna go ahead and cut it down. You're technically supposed to use a toilet paper roll, but all I had was paper towel roll. Let me go ahead and grab ourselves a balloon. Cut this bad boy down. Put it on this guy, just like this. Boom, bam. So far, so good. Now we just grab some confetti. I have this Easter egg filler stuff, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it down a little bit just to be more confetti-like. This is old. I can see dust coming off of it. Oh my gosh. Isn't it so pretty, guys, with the pink background? Aren't you so glad that I <laughs> decided to just randomly paint my background pink? Just go ahead and grab all this and just shove it right in there. Okay, we're gonna try this. Nope. Oh no. I think it might be getting stuck. I need to cut finer. Okay, we grab some fine confetti. Oh yes, this is some fine confetti. Look how fine that is. Now let's try this bad boy out. Oh yes, ready to see if this confetti cannon actually works? Okay, here we go. I'm gonna test it on you guys. You ready? Three, two, one. Oh, we got some. It kind of worked. Let's try it again. Celebrate. Anyway, I'm gonna have to say that this one. 
kind of works for the most part. I'm sure I could have done it way better. <gasps> Guys, let me know down in the comments if you want me to make a giant one out of a giant balloon and a giant tube. That would be a giant confetti cannon! Guys, we should totally do that. Maybe I should just do it right now. We could just make a giant confetti cannon. We don't even have the supplies. It's not in the budget. It's not even in the budget. Anyway, I think it's a great idea, and this one kind of works, so. Absolutely. On to the next one. Guys, check out this crazy TikTok challenge. So this girl decided to put a bunch of Pringles into a circle like this. And now she just keeps stacking them. Oh my God, she completed the circle! Look how perfect that is! I absolutely have to try this. Okay guys, we only need one thing for this, and that is some good old Pringles. Guys, which Pringles guy are you used to? This is a new one, right? He didn't always look like this. He's different now. A different man. What's your guys' favorite Pringles? So it looked like they just stacked them just like this. They just got a bunch of them. They just went boobity boop. Just kept stacking them. Oh, wow. So far, so good. I think this is going to take a while. Boobity boop. Boop, boop, boop. I'm just being real careful not to knock everything down. You just got to keep extending it one chip at a time. I'm going to need so many chips for this. It's a good thing I got three cans. Just keep stacking, stacking, stacking. I'm stacking some Pringles. Whoa. I'm stacking some Pringles. I feel like I'm really getting there. Just keep going. There's a lot of broken ones in this pack. <laughs> Guys, I'm gonna need more chips. Let's break out the pizza flavored ones. It's just gonna start changing colors as we go up. Oh boy, perfect little chips. I'm gonna try again. I messed up and I'm gonna try it again. Do I have to start from square one? Please tell me I don't have to. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna start over. I completely messed up. Oh my God. Can't believe I have to restart. I messed up. Guys, we got more of a crescent. Getting closer, I can tell. Got it on the second go round. Please don't mess up. Please don't mess up. Ooh, you're getting close. Structural integrity of chips. I've never had so much trust in them. Come on. I'm scared to keep building up. Okay. Oh my gosh, I'm almost there guys. I can taste it. And I'm not just talking about how I taste these Pringles. Because every time I mess up, I eat them. Guys, if I mess this up, I'm probably gonna cry. Do I dare add more? I think I do. Ever so slightly more. Look at that! Look, this is gonna be the freaking thumbnail. Look at that. Guys, we freaking did it! This one absolutely works! Now it's time to knock them over. Oh, what? What? That was a little sad, but time to eat all these chips, I guess. So this guy's about to show us a crazy phone life hack. Here's an extremely powerful Samsung Galaxy feature that shouldn't exist on a cell phone. It literally feels Whoa. like magic. Let's say you took a nice picture on a vacation and a random person appeared in the picture and ruined it for you. And your Galaxy- Oh man, I hate it when random people appear in my photos. Tap the pencil icon, then tap the three dots, and choose Object Eraser. Tap on a person to select it. Then on the right side, tap on Erase. And look what happens. Whoa! Look at it again. it got rid distance. of them! One That's gun. crazy. Well, it's a good thing I got myself a Samsung Galaxy. Uh, let's go try it. Okay, guys, so for this one, I'm gonna use this photo that I took of me and Luna Ghostus when we were out go-karting. This is my brand new go-kart, but you know, I just want it to be me and my go-kart. So I'm sorry, Luna Ghostus. I'm gonna go ahead and edit you out. I guess we press this more tools down here. Object eraser. Dude, how did I not know about this? This is so cool. Tap on her, erase. Oh my God! Luna Ghostus disappeared. She's invisible! Guys, this one absolutely works. Luna Ghostus is now a ghost. <laughs> I love that. It's a little rough, but you know, for a phone, it's pretty good. Anyway, on to the next one. Here's how to make a fun and rustic looking piece of art. First you get your design, start hammering in all the nails where the lines are. Then once you're done with that, you go ahead and rip it all off. Then you just kind of intertwine all the strings. Honestly, this looks very time consuming. Not hard, just very time consuming. But the payoff, ho! Oh, I bet the payoff is gonna be so worth it. Look how cool this looks. Look at that, look how freaking neat. I want one of those, I'm gonna go make one of those. Okay guys, so for this one, I'm gonna need a piece of wood and I'm gonna need something to make the outline of. They used a cactus, which I thought was really cute, but 
I think for my workshop, a hammer would be even better. Look at that, isn't that so cool? So, we are just gonna go ahead and get a piece of paper, hold that guy under there, put our hammer on there, and then make our outline. Oh yes, turned out pretty good. I can always shift it around on the paper as well. In the meantime, I'm gonna thumbtack the paper into place. Next, we grab some nails and start hammering these bad boys in. And now I'm gonna grab a pair of pliers to hold the nail in place as I hammer it. This will also keep all the nails uniform. Well, it's time to nail all these bad boys. Okay, this is looking pretty good. We got all of our nails in there. Now I'm gonna carefully remove all the paper. And by carefully, I mean just rip it off. These nails are pretty tough. You know what they say, tough as nails. Okay, it is all cleared off. So now I have to painstakingly take some string and just start weaving it in between the nails. You just start off by tying it to one, snip off that little extra bit. Okay, now I'm just gonna go and zigzag. Oh boy, this is gonna take a little while. I'm just gonna fill up this whole handle with black. Okay, and I have the black handle done. I just have to go and finish it off by tying it. And there we go. Oh yes, we have the handle handle, and now we have to do the head. I was originally thinking of maybe using some wire, but I think having like a red hammer or a pink hammer would be really cool. I'm just gonna do this a mixture of pinks and blues. Probably mostly pinks, honestly, just to help contrast it. Okay guys, so this actually turned out really cool. Look at that. How neat is that? It's like an exact replica. I mean, this one's pink. I really like that a lot. This turned out sick. But I have some room up here, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and put craft up here. Do it as close to my type font on my tattoo as I can. I feel like that's really messy. I kinda wanna redo it. Okay, after a couple of Tries. I think this is the closest I'm gonna get it. Ugh, now to fill this whole thing in. Okay, there we go, rip all this off. Now I have to outline all this. Maybe I should've taken a photo of this because this is getting a little confusing actually. Now I just have to go in with some string and outline it. And this is how it turned out. Look how stinking cute that is. Craft. I'm gonna hang this up in my house. I like this too much. Guys, should I make another one? What should I make? I could make so many things. I think I found myself a new hobby. Would you guys buy something like this? I would buy something like this. This is cool. Anyway, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one works. 100% Robbie approved, I love this. And it's an exact replica of the hammer that I use. I've been using this hammer forever. Very nice. Hey guys, here's a fun and easy way to cheat on your tests. All you need is an eraser. Go ahead and get a little pocket knife and start cutting it like this. Then you take some glue, then write all your answers on the piece of paper. Just glue the piece of paper inside the eraser. And boom, you got yourself all your answers. I mean, not all the answers. What's the meaning to life? <laughs> okay guys, so the first thing we're gonna need Oh yes, a classic eraser. Then we go ahead and grab an X-Acto knife set and just carefully cut this guy down. Oh yes, a nice little slit. Oh, hello! Go ahead and carefully make the incision, cut it all the way down. It's a little rough, but I think it'll do. And now it's time for our secret message. I'm just gonna go ahead and outline this guy. Here we go. Oh yes, just go ahead and glue that on there. This isn't even glue. I pranked myself from an old video. I'm gonna go get some other glue. Okay, we're gonna try this again. That just wasn't working. I don't know what was up with that. Just go ahead and stick it right on there and fold it in. Boopity boop. Some more glue. Ha ha, it opens and closes. Okay guys, now the only thing to do is to write my secret message. My secret's safe in here. Well guys, this looks like an extremely inconspicuous eraser. I'm gonna have to say that this one absolutely works. My secret is safe inside. Now only I know that I love men. Well, except for all you guys, I guess, uh, hey, get out of here. This is my secret. Go watch another craft or something. Here's how not to tie a balloon. Oh, he dropped it. What a klutz. What you wanna do is grab yourself a hanger, put the hanger between your legs, wrap the balloon around the hanger just like this, and then pull up the balloon and you have yourself a perfectly tied balloon. I'm like a master at tying balloons. Let's see how well this one works. Okay guys, so the first thing we're gonna need for this one is a coat hanger and a balloon. Let's go ahead and blow this bad boy up. <laughs> Oh yes, a fully blown up balloon, but I don't know how to tie it. 
Just kidding, I'm actually really good at blowing up balloons. If you guys wanna see a video where I put $10,000 in a bunch of balloons, uh, click right here. But anyway, so we're gonna go ahead and grab our coat hanger, put it between our legs like this, and then I guess we just use this to help us tie it. Do you see that? Oh, wow. I mean, I'm gonna have to say that it works. It made it a little easier, I guess. <gasps> ah! <laughs> okay, let's go to the next one. <laughs> Wanna know how to cleanly get the rest of your candle out of your jar? Well, the only thing you really gotta do is put that thing in the freezer for a couple hours. Give it a nice little tap, and there you go, completely clean candle jar. Oh yes, this is an easy one. Oh yeah, it's just gonna take this and put it right next to my good pal, Johnny Gilbert. Uh, you make sure to keep this thing company, okay buddy? The next day. Okay, let's see how our candle's doing. Johnny Gilbert, thank you so much for taking care of my candle for me. Oh yes. Okay, let's see if this actually comes out. <gasps> it came right out. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one absolutely works. That's handy. Now we have this clean jar. I don't even know what I'm gonna do with this. Maybe like make another candle. Anyway, yep, this one works. Hey guys, here's how to make a quick release knot. Wow, that's like magic. So what you're gonna wanna do is tie a knot like this at the end of your rope, put it through the object, I guess, make a couple of loop-de-loops, then you put that loop-de-loop -loop through that loop-de-loop, -loop, and then you put that loop-de-loop -loop through that loop-de-loop. -loop. This is getting very confusing. <laughs> and then you should have a bunch of loop-de-loops like this, you release the loop-de-loop, -loop, and then boom! All the other loop-de-loops -loops come with it. Well, this one's gonna be interesting. Here we go, I guess. Oh! Okay guys, so I've actually been tying knots since I was a little kid, and I think I could do this one with my eyes closed. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to do this one blindfolded. Oh, here we go. Okay, so we got this guy here. This is a good old fashioned toolbox. And then we go ahead and tie one of these bad boys. And then if memory serves me right, I think we loop it over like this, string it through the handle, put this through this thing, then you tie another knot right here, and then you take this, you stick the lime in the coconut. Coconut is in there. Okay, you guys ready for the moment of truth? So we're gonna release it down. Very good, I'll pick it back up just to be safe. Oh, it's still secure. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and drop the rope. Well guys, I'm gonna have to say that this one works. But let's put a little bit more risk into this. We're gonna put it down the lift. Going down, oh yes. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and drop it. Woo! It works! Here's how to eat pineapple without having to skin it. Ooh, you get little bite-sized pieces. First thing you gotta do is twist off the stem. Then you hit the bottom a couple times. I guess you just keep tapping. Then you roll it sideways. Rolling, 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 rolling. Then all you gotta do is grab the stem, pull, and twist. There you go, you got yourself a bite-sized snack. Mmm, pineapple snack. Okay guys, so the first thing we're gonna need is a pineapple. There we go. Now we just go ahead and twist this bad boy off. Oh wow, that was super easy. Now, apparently we just tap it on the table. It was already kind of tapped. Uh, it fell from the sky. Thanks, Sky Pineapple. Then we go ahead and roll it. Oh yes, rolling, 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 rolling. Just keep rolling. Okay, there is a lot of juice on the table now. Let's see if I can actually get one of these spikes out. Okay, I'll grab this boy. No luck on that one. We're gonna try it again. We're gonna grab, we're gonna twist. <gasps> I got some. Mm. It's so sweet. Okay, I'll try another one. And... Oh, we got a little bit more on that one. Ah, oh, I'm getting pineapple juice all over me. Ah, oh, I got pineapple juice in my eye. You know what? Okay. Oh, guys, it does come apart. Look at that. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one works. Guys, this is a good pineapple. Look at that. We got a perfect piece right there. Maybe I was just making them a little too small, you know? On to the next one. This one's gonna show us how to make glasses out of knives. First, you're gonna need some plastic knives. Heat up your stove, bend them a little bit. Oh, melt them together, and boom, you got yourself some fancy glasses. 
Okay guys, so for this one, we're gonna need a couple of plastic butter knives. And also maybe a blowtorch. We just need heat, really. So we just skim our blowtorch over the plastic knife. And we're gonna carefully bend it. Oh, it bends. It's bending like butter. Does butter even bend? I don't think it bends. Perfect. Now we just go and do the other one. Whoa, it turns the plastic into like a gold color. I'm just gonna go ahead and hold these in place as they cool. Few moments later. Okay, so for this next part, you're technically supposed to do it on the stove, but we have our blowtorch. Oh yeah, smelt the tips just a little bit. Melt them together. Hopefully that works. Now I just gotta hold these bad boys while they cool down. Two very boring minutes later. It's looking a little bit melted, but it's fine. Everything's fine. Ah! Okay, why don't you try this? Ooh! Well, you know what they say. It's not a wrong video unless I burn myself. Ah! They're looking good. Let's try these bad boys on. Okay, guys, we're trying this again. Maybe with a little clamp to help hold it together a little better until this uh, cools completely down. I'll keep you guys updated. Okay, guys, moment of truth. Let's see how well they uh, stuck together. Oh, that's looking pretty good. Let's try these bad boys on. Oh, yes. Some knife glasses. I can already tell my vision is going to be so much better from these. Please ignore the uh, paper napkin that is on this. I used it to help clamp it down the first time, and it sort of melts into the plastic. Anyway. Oh, wow. Yeah, I can't see anything. I should have gotten clear ones. They do kind of stay on, and look how hip I look. Damn, look how awesome. This is going to be my new everyday look, guys. Maybe if I can get them to stay on my face, actually. Oh, oh, it bends it. My bad. I meant to bend it ever so slightly more in. Anyway, before I broke it, it perfectly worked. So I'm gonna have to say this one works. I don't know how much better the clear ones would be, but you sure do look cool, don't you? Anyway, on to the next one. Here's how to make some fun Snapchat art. All you gotta do is take a photo of nothing, spin your phone on the table like this. Wow, it's so spinny, it's so spirally. Whoa, I like that one a lot. Okay, this looks like it'll keep me entertained for about three minutes. Let's try it. Okay, so we got our phone, and I even put a pop socket on this one just for the occasion. Thank you so much, Rod Kim. What a guy. Rod is actually the guy who did the uh, Craft a Ween theme song. And also the Let's Do This theme song. Super cool guy. We might be making a Toby album pretty soon. Let me know if you guys want that down in the comments down below. Anyway, we have our pop socket. Does she spin? Oh, she do be spinning. We're just gonna go to Instagram. They use Snapchat. I'm just gonna use Instagram. Same thing. Cover our lens. Take a really dark photo. Some effects. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and draw, and we just maybe do a little bit of blue. Oh yes. Okay guys, and it's spinning time. Did something go wrong? Yes, something did go wrong. Did something go wrong? Report a problem. Maybe this is why you have to do it on Snapchat. Oh, leave me alone! They keep detecting that I'm like angry at my phone when I shake it. Is there a way to turn that off? There's no problems here, sir. This is a little rough, but I'm gonna have to say that it works. So here is how to break into a car using a tennis ball. All you gotta do is make a little hole like this, put it onto the keyhole, give it a good squeeze, and then boom, it unlocked the car. After watching this, I really wanna know why tennis balls aren't illegal. Okay, step one, drill a hole in a tennis ball. We got a red dot right there, so I'm just gonna put it right where the red dot is. Oh yes, that ought to do. Now let's go to our car. Okay guys, so here's my car, and as you can see, it is locked. Let's see if we can unlock it using this tennis ball. So just go ahead and put that hole right there, and then you squeeze it. Let's see if it works. One, two, and... Okay. It didn't unlock! I'll squeeze it like they did. One, two, and... Well guys, a regular tennis ball didn't work, so we're gonna try it with a Toby. What? <laughs> okay, Toby, I just need you to breathe into the hole. What? Uh, just breathe into the hole when I punch you. Wait, you're gonna punch me? Yes. What? <laughs> well, that didn't work. Um, I mean, did it? We're about to find out. Well guys, I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. 
Benj? What are you doing with Toby? He's delicate, Benj. You can't be doing this kind of stuff with him. Gosh. I just have to learn to respect Toby. Here's a fun life hack, guys. If you have a tape measure, apparently the rubber part erases pencil marks. What? How did I not know about this? Look at that. It's pretty much gone. Okay, guys, so for this one, we're gonna need a tape measure. Oh, yes, this tape measure has been in my family for generation. Let's go ahead and write something really quick. I love dogs. Oh no, I can't have people knowing that I love dogs. Well, it's time to try and erase this. Oh, is it erasing? Woo, guys, it actually sort of erased. Yeah, now it just looks like a normal piece of paper. Well guys, I'm gonna have to say that this one absolutely works. Hey guys, you see this peanut butter? That's old peanut butter. You don't want that anymore. So what you're gonna wanna do is close that bad boy up and just start spinning it. Just keep spinning. And then when you go to open it up, you have a jar of brand new peanut butter. Infinite peanut butter life hack. Okay guys, so here is our peanut butter. And as you can see, it looks very um plain. I don't know, it looks like used peanut butter. Let's see if we can make it all swirly. This is also uh, honey creamy peanut butter, so it should be a little bit more malleable. Okay, spin, spin, spin. Spin, 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 oh God. Spin, it's very off center. Just keep spinning, just keep spinning, spinning. I don't know how many times I'm supposed to do this. I'm probably at easily 60 spins now. Okay, let's see how it turned out. I mean, it still looks like regular peanut butter. Maybe I gotta smack some of the peanut butter down. I think I had too little in there. Oh, a brand new jar of peanut butter. That's beautiful. That is some beautiful peanut butter. I mean, you have to kind of tap it so that all the peanut butter goes to the top, but I'm gonna have to say that this one actually kind of works. Good way to prank your friends. Maybe put something in there. I don't know. Anyway, on to the next one. So apparently this is how you make a flame go underwater. All you gotta do is get a cup and start filling it up with wax. Then once you got a good amount in there, you add a candlestick just like this, fill that cup up with some water, and then you light the candle. Apparently it'll go all the way down the candlestick. That's pretty cool, but how far will it really go? Oh my God, guys, my door's open. Oh wait, just kidding. It's a jar. <laughs> then we get a candle, and then we're gonna have to burn some wax into the bottom of the candle. Just burn that on down. You know what, this is taking way too long. Where the heck is the bigger blowtorch, guys? Oh my gosh, that's so much better. Oh yes, and that is how you melt some wax. I think that'll do it. I'm gonna need a different candlestick though. Let's go ahead and take this and stick it right in there. Oh, maybe I'm gonna melt the bottom of this actually so that it also sticks. Just don't overdo it, Robbie. Don't overdo it, Robbie. Look, that's what I do best. I overdo it. There we go. I'm gonna let this solidify a little bit and then we're gonna light it. Okay guys, the candle is solidified inside of there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add some water. Light this bad boy up. So now all we gotta do is wait. Okay guys, so it was only about 20 minutes before this guy went out. We're just gonna pour some water out and uh, we're gonna try this again. There we go. Better luck this time. I believe in you. Okay guys, this guy ended up burning two times. I don't know what we did wrong, but uh, I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. Which really sucks, because I was actually really looking forward to this one. If I did something wrong, let me know. On to the next one. Hey guys, have you ever wanted to pick up an egg yolk? Now I have an easy solution. All you gotta do is rub up on a piece of garlic, and boom! You can pick up that egg yolk, no problem. Easy way to separate the yolks from the whites, right? The age old question, guys. Can you really grab an egg yolk after touching some garlic? We're gonna find out. So I don't actually have any uh, whole garlic, but I do have some of this minced garlic. Oh gosh, that smells so strong. Okay, so I'm just gonna dab some of that right on my fingers. Oh, my fingers are smelling like garlic. Yummy! Uh, you guys ready to find out to see if this works? Oh, I still have garlic on my fingers. Oh, dang. Okay, maybe a little bit more. <gasps> I broke! No! Well guys, um, the minced garlic didn't work. So you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and try some garlic powder instead. Just sprinkle some of that right on my fingers. <laughs> Ugh, that's so smelly. Okay, you guys ready to see this? It's still very slippery. Very slippery. <gasps> oh, it broke! Ah! Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. At 
least not with garlic powder and minced garlic anyway. If you guys want to see if it works with regular garlic, I'm sure there's another video you guys can watch. Um, just keep watching these life hacks. I'm sure I'll do it in the future sometime. Hey guys, want to learn how to make soap out of aloe vera? Well, this guy's about to show us. First, I guess you need an aloe vera plant. Pluck some of those aloe vera. You get the aloe vera latex. Get it nice and wet. Soak it for a little bit. And then once you got it nice and soaked, you cut the edges. Remove the skin. That's pretty metal, dude. <laughs> Scoop out the gel. Oh, look how slimy that is. Mm. Then you blend all that up. Get yourself some dish soap base. Cut all that up, melt it. You add your gel. You can add some lavender, I guess that's optional. And then you add some e-oil, uh, vape juice, I guess. I don't know. Put it all in a silicone mold. Let it cool down overnight. And boom, you got yourself some fresh soap. Oh, that looks refreshing. But how refreshing could it really be? Oh yes, what big knife should I use today? Uh, ooh, this one hasn't gotten some love in a while. Okay, let's get some aloe vera. Oh, yes. That ought to do it. Okay, now we have to skin this bad boy. Just cut the edges. Whew. This aloe smells so weird. Oh, yes. Then we just peel the skin. Oh, boy. This is way hard to do with a knife. Ooh, just comes right off. Okay, now we're gonna get all the aloe gel out. Okay, I think that's about as much as I'm gonna be able to get out of that. I'm only gonna make like a single little brick of soap, I guess. Then we get our stove, grab a pot, add some water. And now that our water is boiling, we put another pot on it. You're really supposed to use a bowl, but I didn't have a metal bowl. So this is what I'm using. Then we go and grab some soap, cut it up real good. I feel like I was supposed to do this on the cutting board, but the cutting board is underneath my uh, little stove, so I kind of messed up. Just shaving some soap. Oh wow, that, this is actually very satisfying. I would watch a whole video of me doing this. Would you guys? Let me know down in the comments down below. Okay, the soap is melting. I've never done it like this, admittedly, but this seems like it's working way better than it did in the past when I just put it on raw pot, you know? I definitely think that barrier of water is making it so that the soap doesn't burn. I love that for this soap. Oh, just oh, really melt the soap. Oh yes, nothing better to mix your soap than a plastic spoon. <laughs> I'm sure this won't melt the spoon at all. I forgot to blend the aloe part. So I'm just gonna put it in this bowl and try and like, it's not really doing anything. I have an idea. I'm gonna get a plastic bag, put it down in there, and then we're gonna beat the fuck out of it. Oh. Oh, yeah! I broke the bag. I think I'm gonna need a little bit more aloe after this, but overall, I'm gonna have to say that this process didn't really work, actually. It's still kind of together. Oh, I tried my best. Let's go back to the stove. Oh, yes, now we just have to add our ingredients. A little bit of our aloe. Then we add a little bit of this vitamin E. Mmm, mix, mix, mix. Maybe add a little bit of food dye. I'm thinking bright green food dye, you know? Just make your hands nice and green. <laughs> when after you use it, it'll be great. Trust me, you're gonna love it. Okay, now that we are done with our stove, I'm just gonna go ahead and put that off to the side. Go ahead and grab some molds and just put the soap right inside of our mold. Oh yeah, I forgot, I only have enough for one. That's some good old fashioned soap. And just how your grandma made it, this is the exact same way that she made soap. I'd assume, probably. Anyway, I'm gonna let this dry overnight and then we're gonna see how it turned out. The next day. Okay guys, it's the next day and our soap is nice and hard. I'm just gonna go ahead and pop it out of the mold. Oh, wow. <laughs> Look! It's a perfect little flower. This turned out really cute, actually. How does it smell? It definitely smells way better than the aloe vera did. I don't know what was up with that aloe vera. It smelled really bad. But let's see how good of soap it is. It seems to be working nice. It's extremely soothing in my hands. My hands do feel quite cleaner. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one absolutely works. <laughs> Okay guys, so this girl's about to show us how to make a DIY lock out of a fork. So I'm gonna make my own damn lock with a fork and I'm gonna show you how. You're just gonna wanna bend like three fourths of an inch at the top. You're gonna wanna break the fork in half. Go ahead and break that fork. So you're gonna put this part right in there. Once it's stuck, ew, why my door so crusty? Ignore it. Then you're ew! Gonna take the part of the fork what is on your door? Through. If you try to open the door, it's locked. No one can get in. Well, let's see if this actually works. So the first thing we need, 
is a fork. I meant to have that stick to the table. It didn't work super great. First thing I'm gonna do is grab some pliers. Then we're just gonna go ahead and bend all the tips on this bad boy. Ah, yes! Oh, I bent them kind of crooked. I wonder if I get a second chance if I bend it back. I feel like they're just gonna break. Yeah, they just all broke. I messed up. I need another fork. Or, yeah, it's looking pretty good. It's kind of giving me a little butt scratcher vibe. Oh, yes, that's nice. Thank you. Thank you so much. Anyway, now that we're done with that, we're gonna go ahead and bend it straight in half. Aren't I so strong? Then we take the handle and apparently, it just fits right in there. Now let's go test it out on our door. Okay, let's test this bad boy out. Forky guy gets in there. Boop. And then we take our extra bit right in there. There you go. Um, I'm gonna try pulling it. I'm gonna do the deadbolt actually. Oh, that's way better. Okay, looking good. Let's try it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't actually work. Want to know how to make a little tiny pizza box for your leftovers? All you're gonna need is your old box, cut it like this, and then it has some perforated edges, and then you can just fold it, I guess. Wow, what a cute little box. Apparently any pizza box can do this, so let's see if that's true. Okay guys, we just had ourselves some Papa Jads. Um, now we're gonna go ahead and save some for later, because we only have that much left. That's like exactly half. So apparently you just rip the top of the box, and then there's supposed to be some sort of thing here, but there is no thing here. I feel kind of lied to you uh, about that. I'm just gonna go ahead and rip it there then. Haha! -ha. Then you can just fold it in half. Boom! And does it stay? Ah, maybe... No. Let's go with a different pizza box. Let's see if this one has it. This one doesn't have it either! I feel very lied to. I guess you can do it with every pizza box, but um, they don't all have the little perforated edges. We're gonna try and cut this bad boy down. Ho ho! Oh, pizza box is still a little stiff, I guess. Maybe if we lightly cut the outside of this pizza box. Just almost stab yourself. There we go! And it works like a charm. Well guys, I'm gonna have to say that this one actually kinda works. I love the idea of keeping it in the pizza box, but uh, it's always better to keep it in a plastic bag. It just keeps it so much more fresh. But I do like the pizza box, so I'm gonna keep it in the box for the aesthetic. There we go. Oh. Well, good enough. On to the next one. Did you know that nuts make great candles? So apparently nuts have oils in them that take a long time to burn. So they make the perfect candle. So if you ever don't have a candle, just grab some walnuts. Okay guys, so the first thing we're gonna need are some nuts. It looked like one of the ones they used was a walnut, so I'm gonna do that. I got my little clamp here to hold it in place so I don't have to hold the fire. Now it's time to light this bad boy. Okay, you guys ready to see if it's gonna stay lit? Three, two, one! <gasps> guys, it's lit! But does it make a good candle? Let's turn some lights off. Oh yes, this nut is still going and it's fairly bright. This is like a, a candle, this is a candle light. Look at, you can see my face. Well guys, this absolutely works. Huh. Okay guys, let's try this roasted nut. It tastes strangely like barbecue. It's not bad. Except for the extremely burnt part. Here's how to factory tie your shoes. Whatever that means. So I guess you just wrap it around your thumb just like that and make some bunny ears. Just pull it through. This seems like a really easy one. I'll try it, I guess. Okay guys, so it's actually against my religion to put shoes on the table, but for this, I'll make an exception. Here we go. Apparently you just wrap it around your thumb and then shove it in there and then shove it into the hole. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly what this accomplishes. I tied a knot in my shoe and it looks brand new. I guess I'm gonna have to say this one works. I don't really get the point of this one. <laughs> Here's an easy way to make a Lazy Susan out of things from the dollar store. All you need is some marbles and a couple of pans that match. Boom, then it should just rotate like butter. Wait, butter doesn't rotate. <laughs> It'll be smooth like butter. That makes more sense. Okay guys, first thing we're gonna need are some pans. Preferably pans that fit inside of each other. And then we're gonna need some marbles. 
I got these marbles left over from that back massage hack that I did from that parenting video a while ago. If you guys wanna see that, you can click right over here. I keep my marbles in here for safekeeping. Oh, yes. Okay, now we're gonna put the pan inside the other pan. It seems to work. But how well does it work? Let's put our phone in here. We'll just spin this around. Here we go. This is what you guys look like uh, to the phone. We're just gonna leave that in there. You ready? I think we're a little low on marbles, but so far, this is absolutely working. And I'm gonna try this bad boy out with a little bit more weight. Well, let's hope I don't get hurt. Let's put my foot in there. It got a little mangled on the bottom, but it's fine. Woo! It's working! It kind of messed up the bottom of the pan a little bit, but overall, this thing holds a lot of weight. So I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one works. Easily make a ninja star from one piece of printer paper. It's on the internet, it looks like I have to do it. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna need is some paper. Oh yes, this should do. Well, don't need this anymore. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna need is fold this bad boy in half. Fold it just like that, fold it again. Then we fold it like this. I'm just watching this on repeat. There we go, we got another one. Okay, that looks about right, right? A boop -a boop Then I guess we fold these bad boys into triangles. boop -a boop boop -a boop Guys, I don't think this one works. I'm gonna skip it. How to make a bat paper airplane? Okay, you've piqued my interest. So we're gonna take a piece of paper, fold it hamburger, hot dog, hot dog, negative hot dog. Oh my gosh. Origami so hard. Oh, that's a lot. Oh, that's so much folding, so much folding. Stop it. Get some help. Oh, this better be worth it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> ah! Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna need is some paper. Oh yes, they just use some notebook paper, just like this. So first thing we're gonna wanna do is fold it hamburger, some good old hamburger. I kinda want a hamburger now. So you do hamburger, then hot dog, hot dog. Just imagine me holding two hot dogs right here, you know, and then they inverted their hamburger. I don't know why they did this at this point. So then you should have a Whataburger logo if you look at it like this. Then from here, you just go ahead and take one of the flaps, flappy up, flip it around, and you're gonna do the exact same thing to the other side. So now you got wings. This is how it looks. It's like a chicken wing, you know? So now we're gonna flip this around. Then we fold this to be at a right angle right here. Same thing with the other side, I suppose. Now we have a strange looking bird. Then we go ahead and open this bad boy up. Then we fold this down so that the tip of the nose touches the bottom of the thing. Boop. Boop, you just fold these guys down just a little bit. There you go, now it's flat. See, it's a straight guy. So then you fold it up like this so that these lines match. Then we flip it over, fold it down. So then you go ahead and fold it like this. Fold it down, flip it over, fold it down. And our bat is complete. Well, let's go try it. It's time to see if this thing will actually fly like a bat. I mean, if bats flew straight into the ground, I would say that this one absolutely works! Woo! Great job! But bats don't fly into the ground, so I'm gonna have to say that this one actually doesn't work. So apparently, here's how to make the best paper airplane. Oh, that went really far. So you just take a piece of paper, fold it three quarters of the way hot dog, fold it again hot dog. Oh, this is so compl- oh my god. Oh, and then you just fold it into itself. Okay, easy peasy. Not too hard, and then you get a super crazy airplane, which is not really an airplane, it's just a tube. Okay, let's go try it, I guess. Ah, oh, yes, yet another origami craft. My favorite. <laughs> Anyway, so we're gonna do this origami craft um, and we're gonna like it and it's gonna be a great time. Let's grab ourselves a good old yellow piece of paper. Then we take our piece of paper, fold it three fourths in. Then that three fourths, we fold it one more time to match itself. Boop -a boop And a third time's a charm. Guys, did you know you can only fold paper seven times? I don't believe that. I feel like I could fold 
piece of paper way more time. Anyway, so we got our third fold. This is actually pretty hard to keep like this. And then we make it into a round circle. And then apparently you can interlock the top somehow. Come on, this is way harder than I thought. Just like that. Just shove it into itself. Ha ha! We've gotten it! We have our cylindrical piece of paper. This is looking about as good as I can make it, so uh, let's see if it can fly. Okay, let's see how far this bad boy will go. And one, and a two, and... What? That was actually, uh, that was pretty cool, actually. One more time. Yes, this is the perfect throwing stance, guys. Oh! Well, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one uh, actually kind of works. I wouldn't say it's the best plane, but it does work pretty good. Here's a fun life hack for you. Did you know that you can take the cup holder full of drinks that you got at McDonald's and put it in the cup holder in your car and it'll hold all four of them? Guys, it's not just a regular cup holder. It's an adapter for your two cup holder. It's a two to four cup holder adapter. I wish they told me this before. Okay guys, we're gonna try this in my Toyota Sequoia. I just got this car. I mean, kind of, it doesn't like, I think the cup holders are in the wrong orientation and that does not feel stable right there. Wait, I have cup holders in the back. Okay, let's try it. I think this will do it. Oh, oh, no. Oh, and I got my drinks everywhere. I think it's because I got this little lump here uh, and it's causing it to not stay in place. Let's try a different vehicle. Oh yes, let's try my good old Tacoma. This looks promising. Mm, that doesn't fit. I mean, it'll fit in the cup holder section, I guess. It works like that. For this one, I guess it kind of depends on what car you have, but I'm gonna have to say that this one uh, kind of works. Here's an easy way to insulate wires. All you gotta do is melt a bottle cap and wrap the plastic around it. Is it really that simple? Is that all we gotta do? Okay, I'll try it. Okay guys, so here are wires that I need connected, and I don't have any electrical tape. What am I gonna do? Well, apparently guys, you can just go and stick them together. Get a little bottle cap, heat it up, and then you just spin the wire right on the bottle cap. Come on, come on. Ah! Okay, I'll try it again. It's on fire. Oh, it's nice and hot. Just twist our wires like that. This feels actually very impractical. Oh! Oh, it's going around! Nope, try it again. This is a little rough, but I mean, it's kind of working. Maybe a little bit more. One last time. I think this one will do it. <gasps> yes! Just go around. Just keep going around. Around town. You know what? I think that's as good as I'm gonna get it. I mean, if you really have to, it'll work in a pinch, I guess. I don't know how non-conductive it is. I mean, I guess it is plastic, so I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one kind of works. I wouldn't really recommend it, though, unless you really have to. <laughs> anyway, on to the next one. This is for all you lazy motherfuckers that don't want to wash your dishes. So first, you get paper towel. You open it up a little bit like that. It's going a little fast, but this is self-explanatory. Uh, you open it up, you got a pouch. You put shit in. The bowl. Okay, guys, so here are our napkins. And then, apparently, you just open up the plies. I hate to pry on these plies, but I kind of need you to open right now. Oh, it's opening. Uh, we have an opening. Beautiful. Wow. We actually have a little snack sack. Look at that. It's almost like a little bowl. This is perfect for my samurai nuts. Just gonna put all my nuts in there. This bag can hold it. I can feel it. I have trust in this bag. Oh, guys! The sack is holding all of my nuts. Oh, no! My nuts! Oh, guys, I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. It didn't even hold my nuts! They just ripped right through the sack! Here's how to easily clean a hairbrush. All you gotta do is put some school glue all over your hairbrush, let it dry, and you should be able to easily just pull all the glue out. That's pretty gross. Okay guys, so here's our hairbrush. As you can see, there is in fact some hair inside of it. Let's see if we can get it out. Boobity boop, grab some glue and just put it all over our brush. I'm just gonna open this guy up, boobity boop. Oh yes, just putting glue all over my brush. This is my favorite day-to-day -day activity. Learned this one from good old Five Minute Crafts. Oh wait, just kidding, I, I, I found it on TikTok. What do you guys think is gonna happen? Well, we have a couple hours to find out. Uh, leave your prediction down in the comments down below. 24 hours later. Okay guys, it is the next day. And as you can see, the glue is still kind of wet. Look at that, it's still wet. 
How weird. It doesn't really want to come off. It's just kind of really gross now. Come on, hair. Maybe I used the wrong kind of hairbrush for this. Oh, I think I got some. I'm starting to think that there wasn't enough hair on this for this to work. I can't seem to get it off. This is awful. And now the hair is just glued into it. Do you guys see that? Ew. Well guys, at least with this brush, I'm gonna have to say that this hack uh, doesn't work. I was gonna brush Toby's hair with this, but it's kind of covered in glue now. Oh man, not again. <gasps> Here's a clean and easy way to pour a paint can. All you gotta do is put some painter's tape on the sides and make a little V shape. Wow, that's coming out so clean, but does it actually work? Okay guys, so fun fact, we don't actually clean the desks here. We just kind of grab a sander and then repaint everything. Oh, time to repaint. There we go. So apparently you can just put tape right on like that. I have my doubts about this working super great. Okay, are you guys ready for some aesthetic paint pouring? Ooh. Ah. Woo. Just gonna paint that all up into my desk. Just repaint everything. It looks good. I think I have everything I need. But how clean is our paint can? Oh. I mean, it got all inside the paint can right there. It is all brand new paint right there, as you can see, but it didn't really get any underneath. So I'm gonna have to say that this one uh, kind of works. Just buy a paint pourer at that point, you know? Anyway, on to the next one. Okay guys, did you know that the Apple logo is actually a button? Here's how to get to it. You go to accessibility and then you go to touch and then you go to, oh my gosh, there's so many instructions, double tap, home. Okay, interesting. Well, I'm gonna go bust out my old iPhone and try it. Okay guys, so here is our iPhone and apparently this Apple logo on the very back is actually a button, but you gotta activate it. Okay, we just go to settings, then we go to accessibility, touch, back tap. Oh, it's this guy. Then we do double tap. Dude, and then we can do a flashlight! Or we can do a camera or an app switcher. Dude, honestly, there's a lot of utility to this. That's really cool. I'm gonna do flashlight. Well, does it work? It knows that I'm an Android user. That's why it's not working. <gasps> there we go. I was just tapping it way too hard. Does it turn it off? Oh, it just turned off. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one actually works. Oh. You guys are still here. It's been like an hour. I can't believe you guys made it through the entire video. Good for you. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a big old thumbs up. Looks like I'm at this fight right down there. If you guys like this video and you have even more time to kill, I have an entire playlist for you to waste your time on right here. Okay, guys, I love you so much. I'll see you guys again real soon. Peace, love, and Wi-Fi. Awkward Okay, bye. Ah!